Tsunami Studios. Billionaire Island issue five. What a good issue. I'm, I, I said it every time this book comes out. I really enjoy this series. Mark Russell's a brilliant writer. The art is fantastic. Everything about it works so well. I think this issue shows us everything that's going to be coming down the pipeline. Now, I don't know how many issues this series is supposed to run for. I could see it being six and we'd be finishing next month. Or I could see it being like maybe a 12 or 8 issue mini. I'd be very impressed to see how that's going to go because I really like this series. And this this issue really made me think we're not going for the happy ending, are we? We, we kind of can't with the way these characters act and behave. We can't have that happy ending. The big part of this issue was focused on Jake Falco, who's our crazy guy who's been living on the island. We get a lot of flashback from him in here where he's kind of talking about how he was called upon to build the island, how he wanted to design it, and how just right through the process he's like, this is going to be a tedious, terrible idea. As long as they're paying me good, I will do it because I kind of need this money. But as soon as the development kind of starts, right away these billionaires are like, oh, this just kind of do this on like the cheap just kind of cut back we'll just take you know well let's not make this a billion dollar endeavor we'll make it like a hundred thousand dollar endeavor just kind of like cut back on that and he's like that's terrible i mean i'll do it but that's not a good idea if you want this to be sustainable and right away too it's like oh we don't want to pay for all these construction workers let's just get like slave labor and like immigrant labor and they can come in and build it and then we don't have to send them back we'll just lock them in the prisons they built and they do that and you're just like how can a man live with himself after doing that it's terrible and you kind of see how that slowly starts to make jake kind of lose his mind and just kind of just become terrified of these guys and is stuck in this place so him and the reporter they break out they are ready to go get off the island they're going to go reveal all the secrets to the world but first they're going to go break out all the people in the hamster cage and who's in there now our leading man is in there right now because he was in the last issue they threw him in there because they couldn't kill him so he gets out everyone's out they're all ready to leave and just get off the island but our leading man decides i'm not done here i got unfinished business for a canto I'm going to go beat the shit out of him. So he goes up to Recanto's, like, I guess, like his penthouse in the area there. And they just have like a really interesting conversation. It comes back to the pretty much the theme of this entire book, which was like, you can save the world of the resources you have, but you're using them for yourself. And then you also kind of are the reason that this is all happening because you're not preventing it. And it's just a really great... I guess a really great analogy that Rick Canto says, it's like, you know, the world's like one big pina colada. Everyone wants to get in there and have a sip, but not everybody can because then it's going to overflow and things are going to happen. Disease is going to happen. We can't prevent that. So why not keep the rich alive? And it's just this weird idea between that. And you, you just see, I really hate Rick Canto and so does everyone else. Like this comic, like everything else Mark Russell does, is very much like you shouldn't like the 1%. They are not great people because they are using their wealth for themselves instead of helping people. Sure, it's played up to the extreme here and it gets very satirical and crazy, but he's not wrong. He's not right all the time. I'm sure there's some great billionaires out there who love to help people and do those things. But for a lot of the time, there's some really ass there's some real assholes in there. Like there just is, and you can't stop that. It's just how life works is just how those people are it's okay our leading man shoots rick in the chest and we get the other idea that you know oh the bullets are specially made they turn to chalk if you have over a billion dollars and now rick kind of has to get off the island and try to survive he can't kill him here so the reporter just comes in knocks him out and they're all getting ready to escape the island in come the bullets everything's about to fall apart jake eventually gets killed i wasn't expecting that I thought Jake was going to be the voice of reason. Luckily, we have our reporter who can tell the world what Jake's story was. We could get her doing that, which is a great idea. But you're just like, Bro, really? You made Jake have this incredible arc where he's like, I can't leave. Something's going to happen to I'm going to leave and tell the world all the crazy stuff here. I get why you killed him. We can't have a happy ending. and I don't think we're going for a happy ending, but I just wish Jake had a better send off than being gunned down by bullets while everyone's escaping on a helicopter. It's really sad and really tragic, and in his final moments, he's thinking about his wife, which is a doll. And I think that's, it's, it's beautiful, there's something really nice about that. I just wanted more from him, because he's a pretty fascinating character. 
This is such a good book. I really enjoy it. I, I could read anything Mark Russell produces just because this guy is so brilliant. He definitely understands his stuff. You guys could check out my comic book catch-up episode talking about Prez, which is another great book of his. It's kind of similar to this, but kind of different in other ways. It's just so fascinating, and I think a lot of people will enjoy it. I love Billionaire Island. I want more people to read this book because I could read it for ages. It's so fun. So I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.